Welcome back to another episode of Kicks and Cannon TV. I am your boy Spud. Listen, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Ruger 57 product recall. Stay tuned. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to tap the notification bell so that way you're notified when the next video drops. So if you haven't already heard, there has been a product safety recall on the Ruger 57. The right leg of the safety lever has had a common issue for certain models. Now the model numbers are 641-00000 to 642-26274. So uh, me personally, if you have one, I think they said uh, 642-26275 and higher, you don't have to necessarily check it. But if you have it close to it, I would check it just in case. Uh, now they did put out a video letting you know what you should do now in the video what they want you to do of course do a safety check of unloading it put the safe act you know put the safety switch up uh and try pressing the trigger now you don't want to press too hard just in case there is nothing wrong with yours you don't cause that malfunction uh but if you are able to press the trigger and that hammer falls completely then you might want to visit that website and follow that safety protocol that they got in line so that way you can ship your gun off and have them fix it up in the video they are showing you the example of how hard you should be pressing and so there you have it as you can see let me know down in the comments below if you had that model number but didn't have the issue or if you ran across that issue with yours let's talk meet me in the comment section um, again if you haven't already go ahead and tap that thumbs up if you found this video helpful and consider subscribing to the channel uh, where we bring you content like this all the time uh, this has been another episode of kicks and cannon tv i am your boy spud peace by pushing up on the manual safety sure it moves up fully and clicks into place the trigger should be blocked and the hammer should not fall to verify that the hammer did not fall you can disengage the safety lever and with the pistol pointed in the safe direction, pull the trigger. At this point, the hammer should fall and you should be able to see, hear, and feel that happen. If everything checks out up to this point, you're finished. Your pistol is functioning properly.